Welcome to the product presentation of the Connection Administration Toolkit, a lightweight browser tool that makes IBM Connections configuration and administration incredibly simple. CAT is simply deployed on the Deployment Manager server of your Connections cluster and can be accessed directly from your browser without having to access the command line tool of the server remotely. This is the main navigation of CAT. The functions are separated into three major categories, which are base configuration, administration and the user management. Additionally, there is a page for the logs generated by CAT and a preferences page that contains some smaller settings. The base configuration mainly deals with editing configuration settings in the various XML files. In the services view, you can edit the settings for the connection features, such as enabling SSL, changing the URLs of the features, or disabling the feature completely. Notification configuration offers you the tools to modify the automatic notification events of IBM connections and their sender addresses. And here you can configure your language selector, deciding which languages your connections users may choose from, which of them is the default language, or simply disable the language selector. So let's say your company is expanding and just opened a new branch in Turkey. They are getting access to your connections platform, but they don't speak English so well and would prefer to use connections in their native tongue. You simply open up CAT, go to the language selector, check Turkish, click submit, and it's done. After the server restart, Turkish will appear in your language selector and your new colleagues will be happy. Under Administration, you can find all the settings that are specific to one feature of IBM Connections, such as working with the live objects, like activities and communities, configuring file types, or assigning policies. As an example, the feature Communities consists of four different views. In Configure, you can change the configuration values contained in the Communities XML file. The subview Schedule Tasks is specifically designed for adjusting the community tasks. Under Metrics, you can view the server's community metrics and save them to a file. And Manage, which you can see here, allows you to work with the communities of your connection system directly. For example, you can filter for a community containing the tags Connections and Administration and add a member to them. Simply filter for the community, select it from the results list, switch to the Members tab and click Add Members. You can specify the member you wish to add by either the display name or the email address. You can select which role they should perform in the community, click Submit enter a comment for the log, and you are done. It's that easy. This is the user management. Here you can perform all the user-centered tasks you need, like activating, inactivating, or updating the details. CAT also offers support for the more difficult tasks, like swapping the external IDs of two users. For example, if you wish to inactivate this user, simply click on Inactivate User, enter a comment for the log, and wait for the changes to be performed. And last but not least, every change you perform from within CAD will be logged. You can review everything that has been done here with all the necessary details, such as which user performed the change, what has been changed, and the comment the user entered. As you can see, all the examples performed during the screencast have been locked here. And this concludes the presentation of the Connections Administration Toolkit. I hope you like what you have seen so far. Feel free to contact us for any further information regarding the Connections Administration Toolkit.